For all the hope strategists out there that praise people for having a long-term marriage is your way to keep hope alive, where are you guys now? Don't be shy, brothers. We just have an L to give you guys and this lecture to make you understand marriage is dead and it's not going to last for most men. When will you guys learn that a long-term marriage and a lifetime marriage are not the same things? And not only that, just because two people stayed together doesn't mean the marriage was successful. It just lasted long but you guys who are snorting hopium can't see any of this because you just want your personal woman all to yourself without acknowledging the significant risk you are taking as a man in today's day and age trying to have a successful marriage. Look at this, 25 long years flushed down the toilet just like that because she was no longer happy and probably wanted to level up. When will you guys learn that marriage isn't worth it? In most cases, the divorce is planned before the wedding. The gents, what does that mean? It means your wife, that claims that she loves you to death, already did all the research necessary on how to divorce you to come out on top. In other words, before you walked her down the aisle, she had the thought of divorcing you, and she knew exactly how to do it. Don't you find it strange that women mostly file for divorce, and they know exactly what to do and how the law works? That's because all of the marriage was according to plan, and she knew that if she wanted to blow her marriage up at any point, she could do it and still come out on top. The divorce is planned before the wedding, guys. Our profit coach Greg Adams is the only person I've heard break this down, so I'm passing on the information to you guys so you can make a logical decision on whether or not to get married. Let's dive into the article to hear what they have to say about their failed marriage so we can get the scoop on what really happened. This article is from People, and the title is, Jennifer Flavin says she'll always cherish Sylvester Stallone's relationship after filing for divorce. Well, that's a load of crap, isn't it? Cherish the relationship my ass. She'll fight in tooth and nail in the family courts for his money if they can't have an amicable divorce, and she'll probably try to poison her daughters against their dad to get them on her side. Well, let's dive into it. I know we are both committed to our beautiful daughters. Jennifer Flavin tells PEPL exclusively after filing for divorce on Friday. Jennifer Flavin says filing for divorce from husband Sylvester Stallone is sad, but they'll still move forward amicably. Flavin exclusively tells PEPL, I'm sad to announce that after 25 years of marriage, I have filed for divorce from my husband, Sylvester Stallone. While we will no longer be married, I will always cherish the more than 30-year relationship that we shared, and I know we are both committed to our beautiful daughters. I ask for privacy for our family as we amicably move forward, the businesswoman slash model adds. All right, gents, remember that she filed for divorce and not Sylvester. So all that she's saying is lip service to keep the media out of their business. And look at that, this is more than three decades worth of relationship and she still divorced the guy. She couldn't ride it out into the sunset. She had to blow up her entire family and cause drama and chaos to do what? I'm wondering, what is she going to do? come out here in these streets and try to get married again to all these men who don't want to commit anymore? It just goes to show you that at any moment in your relationship or marriage, it can end. These two were married together for 25 years and they still couldn't just ride it out and they're rich. So what about you broke ninjas that can barely afford to put a roof over your wife's head? What hope is there for you guys? I know I'm never getting married in this lifetime. There's no way it makes logical sense to risk everything you built in hopes, and the keyword here is hope, in hopes that woman will choose to stay faithfully married to you and not divorce grape you to kingdom come and run off with cash and prizes. You would never make a dumb decision like that, even for your family. Let's be real for a second. How many of you would give your sister half of everything you worked so hard for and risk being homeless or near bankruptcy? 99.999% of you would never take that deal, but when you're in love, you risk everything for a complete stranger. Make it make sense. Let's go to another article by page 6 that reads, Inside Jennifer Flavin's divorce filing that blindsided hubby Sylvester Stallone. Let's dive into it. You couldn't think of a nicer couple. She's been visiting him in Oklahoma City where he's filming. It sounded like everything was great. I have no idea what happened, one source told page 6. In her divorce petition, filed in Palm Beach, Florida, where the couple has a home, Flavin, 54, claimed that her husband has engaged in the intentional dissipation of marital assets and demanded that Stallone be prohibited from selling or transferring any assets during divorce proceedings. But a source familiar with the case said, it's so ridiculous. I have no idea why Jennifer's lawyers put this in the divorce petition. It's just a pure lie. Slee hasn't sold as much as a t-shirt. According to a friend, Sylvester's intent was to work things out with Jennifer. Now I don't know what will happen because she decided to go public with everything. Tap the like button, gents. There you have it, the typical entitled American woman who's no longer happy and wants to leave her husband and run off with his money. When will you guys learn that they're not for you? 
They're just with you for themselves and what they can gain, and that's it. These modern women have no intentions of being lifetime partners, and you hope strategists just don't want to open your eyes and face reality. Guys, marriage is a failed institution that transfers wealth from the man to the woman, and of course, the system profits from your downfall. In my opinion, you guys need to wake up to the truth and just go your own way. Women are incentivized to leave you because they benefit, so why would they stay with you? I want you to think long and hard about that the next time you pass a jewelry store and look at the engagement ring or what I call the suffering. By the way, what happened to Amicable? Now she's ordering him not to spend any money. And you guys fall for this hook, line and sinker every time. And I'm not even surprised that the husband tried to work it out because he knows he's going to get dragged and taken to the cleaners. He's been married two times before this if I'm not mistaken. Just goes to show you that no matter how many times you try or how long it lasts, men still can't win in marriage. All we want is for our one woman to love us and raise our kids and they can't even do that. So why would you allow them to tear you down? Let's continue. TMZ, meanwhile, reported that the couple split after a big fight over a dog. Stallone 76 is said to have wanted a new Rottweiler as protection for their family, but Flavin reportedly didn't want to add another pet. This allegedly led to an extremely heated argument that brought up other issues in their marriage. However, those issues reportedly weren't seen as things they couldn't work through. Stallone ended up getting the pooch anyway and named him Dwight after the actor's Tulsa King character. He promoted the show on Instagram with a photo of himself and Dwight the dog earlier this month. So let me get this straight, the dog was the straw that broke the camel's back and destroyed their marriage. Damn. Well gents, obviously, there were a lot more problems leading up to this, and the dog was the fire that lit the fuse and blew up their relationship. It's pretty sad that men can't get what they want from women these days, but I blame him because he was divorced before and just couldn't learn his lesson. If he had just chilled and lived the free agent lifestyle, none of this would have happened. But no, he wanted a family. Well, he's gonna lose all of what he built right now over an unhappy woman. All it took was for her to become unhappy, and now he's going to lose millions. Gents, just focus on yourselves. Marriage isn't worth it. Let's finish up. Meanwhile, it was revealed on Tuesday that tattoo artist Zach Perez had posted a now-deleted pic to Instagram showing Stallone getting an arm tattoo of Flavin covered with one of Buckus, the bull mastiff from the Rocky movies. Flavin has asked for sole ownership of the 35 million United States dollars Palm Beach mansion the couple bought in 2020, putting down $5 million as a down payment. According to CelebrityNetWorth.com, Stallone is worth $400 million. And that's why you don't get tattoos of your partner or their names because when you guys break up, you'll have to get rid of it or try to cover it up. And look at what his wife asked for, my gosh, amicable my ass. We'll see how this plays out, but I feel that this divorce will be disastrous. And if their children were still young, can you imagine how much money she would've gotten for child support? Gents, I have to ask you, why risk everything you worked so long and hard for just to try and beat the divorce statistics? What's so hard in living life alone in peace, quiet, and freedom? Someone really needs to explain to me how they can make the conscious decision to risk everything over some wet vice grip she already gave freely to other men. Because let's be real, most of you are not popping cherries on your honeymoon and you know deep down your girl was getting piked down viciously by Chad before you met her. Did Chad have to give up half or more of his resources to get the exact same thing that you are getting? The answer is no, he probably got it for free, while you'll have to pay thousands of dollars to not have sex with your wife. Go ahead and choose the life you want to live, just know that marriage is BS. Share this video with a man that needs this message. The links to our PayPal and Cash App are in the description box below to donate to the channel. And gents, why enter a contract that only benefits your partner and penalizes you? If you want to learn about the dark side of marriage that nobody talks about, then click the video on the screen right now to get this information.